that I admire about Nipsey is, you know, he was about, uh, you know, buying in the black communities and uh, black entrepreneurial shit and, uh, you know, just black people doing things in the black community. So, you know, he, uh, he got this Fat Burgers, you know what I mean? Even got us some healthy meals in there. Got us veggie burgers, sweet potato fries. I saw somebody with some carrots and celery on their plate. <laughs> But, um, you know, I mean, I admire the brother for, uh, you know, who he was and who, what he, what, you know, what he was teaching black people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is an awesome thing, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's, uh, you know, open up your own business, even if it's a franchise, you know what I'm saying? Because you can make money, you can actually make money, um, millions on, you know, being a franchise owner. You dig? So, um, so since this being his establishment, you know, I thought it was, uh, you know, be a good idea to, you know, to honor him on the side of his uh, establishment, you know, in a major way. So. Sure. And pretty much ask, answer so much in that, in that one question, but, you know, when it comes to what he meant for the community, I mean, what's, talk about the love, because obviously to put this in the community and to put healthy food in here, I mean, that's a deeper kind of love that you have for your people. I mean, what, what do you think I mean, about you got to have self-love, I mean, you know, like if you got, if you got self-love, you know, you love people that look like you. Dig. Like, if you love yourself, you love people that look like you. Um, you know, not just on some, I love myself, on some selfishness. You love other people. You know what I'm saying? You got to love yourself first. And, um, you know, I feel like that brother loved himself. You know, he loved himself enough to, um, to um, you know, to prove to black people that he loved them too because that's what he spoke on he spoke about it in his rhymes he spoke about it on his interviews and I'm talking about he spoke you know he spoke love like things that uh, that black people that hate themselves don't do you know what I'm saying like um, black economics recycling the black dollar group economics you know you gotta you know once you love yourself you know you can realize that somebody that looked like you ain't your enemy and then, you know, you're willing to um, make money with that person. Because, you know, that's one thing with black people. We have a problem with making, we have a, we got, we got a, we, um, we can make money. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. All the way from Washington State. Washington State, much love, man. Talent, talent. Appreciate you. You got down there. You love it, All right, thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming check us out. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. And for you, what does it mean to be able to get that kind of love back? Obviously, you're giving love to the people through your work, but... I mean, how's it kind of come full circle for you? And is it is that gratifying in a sense to know that people appreciate that people will forever appreciate? I mean, you know, you always hear people talk about giving back. Oh, I give back to the community. You know, most people who come from the community they got money. You know, they they never come back. Most black people who um, make money and leave the hood, you know, they uh, they never come back and really show love to the community. Um, you know, and what that do is it does is that proves that you wasn't a part of the community in the first place. You know, it's hard enough that uh, black people, we really don't have too much community. We have more or less like neighborhoods. But um, when it's when we're talking about community, we're talking about people who are, um, you know, unified on a united front, on, 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 you know, on multiple levels. Yeah. You know, whether it's, uh, you know, whether it's on a um, financial level, whether it's on a, um, whether it's on a, uh, um, a community beautification level. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever in the case it is. So this brother actually, he actually came back, man. He was in the hood. He made his money. He, he left the hood. Like he was a brother that, you know, like he said, he lived to gang bang. And I'm sure he didn't see, man, me knowing and hearing and, and experiencing uh, gang bang history throughout LA through the 80s and the 90s. Man, I'm already knowing. Um, Quite possibly what he has seen hanging and being from uh, being a real, a real Rolling Sissy Crip. You know what I'm saying? By him being a real Rolling Sissy Crip, man, I know some of the things that he quite possibly have seen and and um, and experienced. So, um, so what I'm saying is, is he actually, um, you know, made it out the hood. Like he could have just left us. I mean, he could have been in Encino somewhere, spending money with somebody else. But he actually came back, hung out in the hood. He didn't leave his people. He didn't leave his community. And uh, he brought money back into the community, you dig? And he brought, uh, he brought money back into the community and showed black people that, you know, hey man, you can actually leave the hood, make it, and come back. 
Because that's one of our, like I said, I repeat, that's one of our biggest problems, you know, that we have. Well said. If people want to see more of your work, you just let us know where they can find you. All right, you can check, uh, check me out on, uh, I don't know, just Instagram. type in people. my name. It's E-N-K-O-N-E. -N -E. Okay. And that's um, on Instagram. On I got a Facebook sure. page, but I don't be on it. But, uh, you know, you can check me out on there. Ink One, Art That Breathes. Um, and it's spelled with an E. E-N-K, Ink One e. <laughs> Let me say it again. Ink One. All right. All right. Appreciate you, All right, man. Peace.